super windy today. And it's hot. We're seeing deer, but just not the right one. system. A few days ago, I got a game camera picture of a huge, typical 10 point. He is a Bone and Crockett class. Probably for sure going to be over 170 net.
Rustin just got here last time. We got a picture of a giant that we've been seeing where Dalton's on. And uh, he shot at him this morning, shot over his back. I just got off the phone with him. He's heartbroken. Rustin sends me a video. He's classing this morning. Sends me a video of a mega giant that he's already spotted. And I think he's going to go try to make a move on him.
must have told John Demko as well. He got some video of him yesterday, a long ways off, almost a mile. And uh, you could tell he's a monster. So uh, he set up on him. Dogs already seen a couple of big bucks this morning, also. We're all three on them. Just got to stick on them and see what happens. Hey Russ, and put Dalton on. I smoked a big one, man. I smoked a big one. It's not the one I seen, but let me tell you something, buddy. Whew, this is a giant. He's not as high scoring as this other one, but I'm telling you, he's got tree trunks coming out of his head. I don't even know how many points he's got. And I got it on video. I got it on video. I got everything on video. I grunted that, I snort we, I grunted him and snort wheezed him in. Oh my God, this, I mean, it is a toad. He smoked quarter and two, buddy. Oh yeah, I watched him go down. I mean, hey. Hey, he's got some freaking tree trunks coming out of his head. Yes. I don't, he's a, I think he's a mainframe ape, but he is like a huge body. Just a, just, I, I don't even know how to describe him, actually. Uh, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Y'all ain't gonna believe this boat. You're, you are fixing to flip out. Yes, you're fixing to flip out. He is not as high scoring as that other deer that I saw this morning. Oh my God, he is a huge mature. He's not real high scoring. He's not real high scoring, but I'm telling you, from from what I seen, and I mean, he come to that snort wheeze, and I, I just couldn't stand it. I had to take him. No, he, 
he was limping. He was walking that wood line just now, and he was limping real bad. And yeah, he was limping real bad. And he was going down that wood line, and I grunted at him, and he looked at me, and then he kept walking. I grunted again, and he stopped. And I'm like, well, here, here he goes. I snort wheeze, and I snort wheeze, and I'm telling you, he started licking that nose, pinning them ears back, and come to. About a ten yard shot. Well, hey, let me get down and look at my arrow and verify, but I seen him stumbling out there. I'm pretty sure he's I'm pretty sure he's done. But what I I don't even I mean I'm videoing myself right now. I'm not even sure what all's what all I got. I just pointed it in that direction. And then I had to move it because he come over and I had to move the camera. I'm not sure what all is on there. And then I swung the camera around and tried to get him going down. But I, I mean, I'm sitting in a boat arc tree and there's just, I mean, it's limbs everywhere. But I snort weaved that sucker to 10 yards, buddy. 17 feet. Got down, went and got some help this morning, so we're headed back into where I shot him. We're gonna go try to find him. Hopefully, we can get him. You see that gap right there? Yeah. I was in the boat arc patch right there. You're the in there. that? Yeah. Oh my God! In the center of all that. And he walked down through that gap right there. He cut. He come across this bottom down here, and then I waited until he got to that tree line and I started grunting at him. I had perfect wind for him. And he come right up the other side of that tree line, all the way straight down oh, to man. 10 yards. I grunted, he looked, he got his attention. And he started walking again, I grunted again and got his attention. And then I snort wheezed at him. And immediately his ears pinned back, he fuzzed up. He started licking his nose and just started and made a beeline straight to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Right, right where that fork is up in that tree. It's all got wide open to this gap here. I had an open shot up there, so I come to that side, and I had windows up there. Which tree? The one with the fork in the Really? Yeah. You had that little stand in there, didn't you? Yeah. Wow. I had the, what do you call it, the? Ingway? Ingway. Five pound stand. <laughs> There's no stands that are going to fit in that thing. No, nah, basically nothing would so fit I had that. Turn where the stand was completely level and I could lay my back right into that fork right I'll there. I'll be comfortable. It's comfortable and I mean, they're not going to pick you off there. And I had a perfect south southeast wind blowing my wind back that way. So this gap was a perfect setup. When, when he crossed this right here, that's when I started calling. Where'd you shoot him? He was standing. He was standing about right here. And there's the arrow. Right there. See, see that window? From that oh, it is coated in gotta, blood. See that window where that fork is? Yeah. It's see here. Oh, dug deep in the ground there, boys. See that hit? Covered in dirt. Yeah. Clean it off and. Clean it off, sharpen it a little bit, and huh? It took some of the feathers off. I'm a little bit surprised because I shot one the other day through my privacy fence, and all the feathers stayed on. You must have hit something heavy. Uh, I'm guessing probably shoulder. It was a hard quarter and two. He run back up this way, so we can start looking for blood right here. Right here, right here. Yeah, come on. Isn't that blood or is that yeah. not blood? Yeah, that's blood. Yeah, okay, so. Right here. You think you saw him tip over? Well, I saw him. It's 
just tall enough to where you really can't see. You gotta get right up on them. Oh, he's starting to open up a little. Oh, look at all this right here, guys. Oh. He got a little sticker. Look at that. What? Got some mass on him. Go, look, go. Look at the mass. Oh my oh. god! What a big one. Look at that, boys. That is a big one. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Come on, guards, boys. Look at the mass. Oh my god. Oh, well, dude, I told you you had some trunks coming out. Yeah! Oh, my God. Look at the mass on this right side. <laughs> God! Oh, monarch, dude. That is a monster. Look at that cedar where he's been rubbing. Golly! <laughs> Look at that. Look how thick that is coming out of his skull. I can count 12, 13, 13 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, Oh, you brought your tape measure. Yeah, I did. That is only 60 something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at the eye guards. Look how far apart they are. He didn't go yeah. far, did he? Got smoke. Yeah. Go I mean, My goodness. Oh, look at them eye guards. It's, look how big his leg. I mean, that's a mature buck. Yeah. Where was he limping? Like which leg? Uh, there's one of his front legs, I think. Well, then where did it get? Look at the foot on him. Look at the foot on him. The foot is ginormous. Yeah. Oh man, that, yeah. You think that's a mature? Oh, man. I know why he's limping. Why? He's got oh, a peg oh, for a leg. Wow. Oh, peg leg. Yeah. Oh, he broke his he broke hoof his off. Hoof. He broke he, it. He was limping. Yeah. He but broke I his hoof. He wasn't backing down from a fight. Yeah. Is that entry right there? Yeah. Right on top of the Let's shoulder. See. Well, it was he so was close coming, that you had to hit this way. Oh yeah, I was. I mean, he was what ten yards. Wow. What do you think about that? <laughs> My goodness. Is that a Kansas buck or what? Hey, I mean, he's got a stump for a leg. My goodness. That's a. That's a that's a horse. That's a horse right there. Uh, first rattle out of the box. As soon as it got daylight, I saw a big uh, six by five in a CRP building here behind me. He come over the hill, he had a doe with him, and uh, I got some pretty good video of him. He's a 170 class deer, and I watched him for at least 30 minutes. I mean, he would not leave that doe, he would not respond to any kind of calling I tried every call I knew to try. And uh, I watched him bed down about 200 yards from me. And uh, as the morning progressed, you know, I just kept keeping an eye in case they stood up. They could stand up at any time. I'm hunting right in the middle of the CRP field. There's like a, a small ditch that comes out of the main drainage, and there's a, and there's a gap right in that ditch. And there's a bodark tree probably that big around. It goes up forks, and I was right in that fork about 14 feet off the ground. They only see it in the background right there. Yeah, that's it. That's the patch I was in right there. And... Uh, 
I saw another lone doe come through and she got within, I mean, she walked straight to the base of my tree and uh, never seen it before, but she was sitting there eating dead bodark leaves for I don't know how long, just like cornflakes. Wow. And uh, so she finally meandered off and then I seen another lone doe uh, walking the wood line a couple hundred yards away and I was watching her to see if there was anything behind her and she disappeared. And I mean, as soon as she disappeared from the other direction, I spotted a buck walking the same tree line. And I pulled out my binoculars and uh, I knew immediately it was a mature uh, shooter. So I was gonna wait till he crossed that ditch and got on the other side of it. And then I was gonna start trying to call to him. So I started grunting at him once he crossed that ditch. And uh, so it got his attention and he looked my way, then he started walking again. So I grunted at him again. At this point, he's probably about 100 yards from me. And uh, he got his attention again. I thought, well, I'm gonna have to do something aggressive. Uh, uh, he was limping real bad when he come in. Uh, yeah, look at his foot right here. Yeah, it's he like, just got a stump. He broke off the entire hoof. Yeah. It's just a stump. So uh, I decided to do a snort wheeze, and you'll see it, you'll, you'll hear it on the video. I'm not sure how good video I got, but. Uh, he responded immediately to the snort wheeze. His ears pinned back immediately. He fuzzed up. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, he just made a beeline to my tree. Ten yards, give me a nice quarter and two. Uh, most shots I take are quarter and two because deer are coming to you 99% of the time. I'm not afraid to take that shot. And as you can see, I'm here. Uh, he didn't go 80 yards and piled up. Complete pass through. Uh, just a fantastic hunt. What kind of setup you got? Take that arrow out of the quiver. Uh, I'm shooting a uh, 600 and I think 651 is what our total weight is on it. Uh, I've got a. What about your FOC? I've got 30% FOC. I'm shooting a uh, tough head 200 grain, and this year they came out with, I know it's hard to see here, with uh, some little bleeder blades go in there but this is a single bevel head he bled decent I mean, uh, it was good enough to follow had right a too. really good blood trail um but you know clean plat pass through and it went into the dirt about right there yeah show the show the entry hole on him uh, it was a real right there it was a real close shot it looks so like you had to aim a little bit higher up in the shoulder yeah it's 10 yards so you know fairly straight down shot and uh, I just put it right on the point of that shoulder. I can feel in there, it just busted that shoulder. And it come out way back here, it probably busted a couple of ribs too, but I mean, it, she buried yeah. it in the dirt. Uh, but anyway, Rustin built me these arrows uh, this summer. Uh, they shot good all summer long. Um, shooting in feathers. Shooting feathers this year. Rustin specials. He's put a little turbulator on there for me. Uh, but they shot all. They shot really good all summer long, and they didn't let me down. It paid off. Look at look how big this buck is. Look at the net. Yep. I don't know how much he weighs. I mean, that's about as real deal as you're gonna prepare for right there. That's a huge buck. Yep. Super mature old deer. Yep. Real happy with this deer. He's gonna make a beautiful. God, he's got mouth. good character too. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I like. Man. He's got. Uh, to, for twist him this way so we can see that see those eye guards. He's got really long eye guards. He's got a lot of extras. He's got like a heart-shaped main just beam one, two, with these beams three, just... Four or five. He's got Ugh. six extras. I think we counted 14 measurable points. But, uh... Man. Just an old, mature buck. You know, um... This is what you look for when you come to Kansas. I mean, that is... Up at least three bucks that score over 140. But this one's got the character to boot, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you come to Kansas, this is like the ideal deer that you're looking for. Big old gnarly, mature old deer. Yeah. How, how long with them eye guards did you tape it? Yeah, this one's about eight and a half, and this one's about eight. <laughs> Golly. But Kick yeah. a field goal through him. Yeah, he responded really well to the call. That's that's what really... That snort wheeze did it, hunt. didn't it? Yeah, the snort wheeze did it. That's what really made this hunt special. Golly. Responding to the call. I can't believe that. I'm gonna look at him from the front. Oh, God. Howdy. Wait, that. <laughs> he looks real good. That's how I saw him coming in right there. 
It was from this angle? Yeah. I saw him coming in just from right there. When did you notice the extras? I just seen extras and... Uh, How long you been here with him? Huh? How long you been here with him? You mean this year? Yeah. Oh, what, 15 days? 15 days. Passed up a bunch. Yeah.